In this video we are going to start writing some code and we will write the first uh, function of our contract which will be a uh, swap bnb for tokens function. Let's start writing the contract. So we will type contract my exchange. The contract needs to have a constructor. And if you remember from the latest video where I explained what the pancake router is and how we are using it, you know that we used pancake router variable like this. And this variable is of type um, I pancake router. So is of type I pancake router, which is the interface. So here we are declaring our interface. Then in the constructor, what we actually need is the address of the pancake router. So this will be the address of the deployed pancake router. And then in the constructor, we initialize our interface to the pancake router. Now this will allow us to do function calls like this, which will call the logic from the pancake router that's already deployed and existing on the Binance Smart Chain. Let's now write the sub function. Our function will be called swap exact BNB for tokens. This function will take in two arguments. One will be an amount out min, and the second one will be the address of the token out. So the token that we want to, to get. The function will be external and it will also be payable. The function needs to be payable because it needs to accept BNB. First thing that we need to do is declare an address array, store it in memory, and we will call it path. And this will be a new address array of two elements. This is because we need to initialize an array of the two tokens that we are using for the swap. The first token in the array will always be um, the token that you are giving in exchange for something. So here it will be uh, BNB. And the way that we put BNB in this array is by uh, using the pancake router and calling the width function. This width function will return the address of wrapped BNB. I know it's a bit confusing when you see it, but this is the just the naming of the functions which remained and even if we use BNB, we will still have to type uh, the function names as they are in the in the deployed contract and they are with it. Okay, that's the first item in the array and the second item in the array will be the token out. After we initialized our token array, what we need to do is we need to approve the pancake router to spend our BNB in order to give us the, the token out. So we use the IRC20 interface um, for BNB, for wrapped BNB. We call the approve function. And this function takes in two arguments. The first is what contract um, we need to approve. And the second is the value that we want to approve. So the first will be the address of the pancake router and the second will be the amount that we want to approve, right? So this will be the message value. So we are approving the pancake router to spend our wrapped BNB and to spend this match value. 
the message value is a global variable in Solidity that takes in uh, the amount of tokens that we sent to this contract uh, by by this function, by calling this function. That's why the function is payable and that's how the user will send the BNB to the contract. He will send it via this message value. Now, after we approve the pancake router, we can call the function. So now by doing this, we are saying, okay, I want to use the pancake router and I want it to call the function swap exact ETH for tokens. This function will take in four parameters. The first one is the amount out minimum, which we have it. The second one is a path array, so an array of tokens, which we created right here. And the last one will be a deadline, which will be the block timestamp, so the time now, plus some, some time. This is just simulate some, some deadline here. But if we do it like this, we are not actually sending the BMB. We are just calling the function, but this will throw an error. So how do you send the BMB, right? You send the BNB by opening some curly braces here and specifying the value as message value. So this is how you send BNB to a function. We could say one, we could say two, but we want to send the value that comes from the user. So how much the user wants to send. Thing that uh, we need to do is um, create an event. So the event will be called swap transfer and this event will take in six arguments an address from so the address that will send the tokens to us so to the address to the address of the token that the user is providing Token out is the address of the token that uh, the user will get. Amount in is the amount of token in that the user is providing. And then the amount out is the amount of tokens that the user will get after the swap. So the event will be emitted at the end of the swap function. The from address will be the address of the pancake router because the pancake router is sending the tokens to the user after the swap is done. The address to will be the address of the user, so the message sender. Then the address of the token in is the pancake router that width, so the address of wrapped BNB. Then the address of the token out is the token out from from here the amount of token in is the message value and the amount of token out will be amounts one which we will declare right now so to get this which will be how many tokens we get for the amount that we provided so for the amount that the user provided of bnb we need to use the following function so pancake router get amounts out and the get amounts out function takes in two parameters is the value of token in that the user is sending that will be the message value and the second one is an array of the two tokens that um, are being swapped so for us we already have this array created and uh, the name it uh, is path so this function will uh, return an array of two amounts. The first amount will be the amount of token in provided and the second one will be the amount of token out that we get. So to get that value, we need to declare our array. This array will be stored in memory and the name will be amounts. 
So now we have the amounts array and if we get the second element which is on index 1 then this element will be the amount of token out that uh, the pancake router will send to the user.